But the important thing is what we get from technology is that we get increasing choices. Every new technology will create most of the problems for the future. <laughs> all the problems we have today are from technology in the past. Today we're creating technology that will make all the problems in the future. It's like, what do we get from that? Well, we get one thing, which is we get increasing numbers of choices and possibilities. And so even though you may be working on something technological that, you, that may seem like, oh, this is consumer, people are just, I don't want, you know, they're just buying stuff that doesn't last very long, it's obsolete, it's maybe just getting people to click on ads, whatever it is, it's more important than that. When you are making something, you're actually participating in this very long trend that went back to the beginning of increasing the possibilities in the world. And imagine if you were Beethoven had been born a thousand years before anybody had invented the piano or, or the symphony. What a loss to us that would have been. Or if Van Gogh had been born before we invented oil paints. He, what a loss to him and to us that would have been. Sure. Or Hitchcock before we invented films. What if he would have lived a thousand years before that? So we make these new technologies which enable their genius to be shared with us. So that means that today, somewhere out there, is a young person who is waiting for us to invent the technology that would let them shine. Their, their genius is waiting for this technology that we need to invent right now. And oh, so man. part of what we're trying to do by inventing all this stuff and making all these things is to fill out this possibility so that it could liberate and unleash the genius of anybody in the world.